I mentioned that the NFL media rights deal is underway and we are going to get news from that, whatever, in the next couple of months and who's going to be owning all these big games and what the salary cap's going to look like. We know that for next year, the salary cap is not going up, which means teams are getting the squeeze. The Saints, we know that they somehow are always up against the cap. Um, and it shows yesterday with the Kansas City Chiefs releasing two of their top offensive linemen, Eric Fisher and Mitchell Schwartz. Uh, Mitchell Schwartz, of course, was a, a all pro two years ago. And yeah, it's basically all I get, all that comes to my mind is the meme of Patrick Mahomes running for his life. Because if if they can't afford to bring in some linemen, they just lost their two best guys. So it, it feels like that might actually be in the more in the future for Mahomes. So lots of running for his life. It's something that the Chiefs really have to be alarmed by. But that's what happens when the cap doesn't move and, and you're a team that's competing for a Super Bowl. You're maxed out on the salary cap and you got to figure out ways to save money. And so a lot of these middle class players are going to get the squeeze if you're not a rookie deal guy or if you're not a, a kind of practice roster, one year, low salary contract, or if you're not the Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott, who we'll get to in a second then you're really going to get the squeeze in that middle income bracket. And so we're already starting to see signs of that. But not for Dak, as I just mentioned, as he inks a four-year, $160 million contract with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they have committed to their guy. He bet on himself way back when they offered him. I think it was four years, 35. Uh, he said, I'm worth more than that. And we saw with the uh, Ben do 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 uh, throwing ducks. We had Andy Dalton, not great. Uh, obviously, the defense was the worst part of that season for the Cowboys, but any quarterback they threw in there that wasn't Dak, you could just see how much better he makes their offense. And uh, he definitely earned this contract. Some people worry about overpaying, but in this quarterback market, the price just keeps going up every year. And Mahomes made his money, but Dak – but Mahomes is under contract for 10 more years or nine more years, I guess. Whereas with Dak in four years from now, if he's still playing at a high level, he could probably end up making more money than Mahomes just because of how quickly the quarterback salaries continue to scale. And if you have a quarterback who's not a rookie, you need to pay them. Otherwise someone else will, because it's the most valuable position. And that's just where majority of teams monies go. So it was something that the Cowboys had to do. They get him. The contract is fine. It, obviously, it's expensive, but that is the going rate for a quarterback of his caliber. And hope I wish the best for him. And hopefully, uh, the Cowboys' offense can be just as electric as it started out last year when he was on pace to break the single season passing yards record. And uh, uh, my girlfriend's very happy about it because she wants to see the Cowboys do well, and and she's a big fan. So it, sh it will be interesting to follow them. Uh, and of course, a fun offense when they're clicking with all their weapons that they have down in Jerry World. Okay, news that came in just before we hopped on the podcast. Cam Newton returning to the New England Patriots. Uh, many did not see this coming because of the poor performance he put on this season. Of course, his career has been riddled with injuries in recent years. The shoulder uh, primarily being the one of worry, but also a foot injury. And Patriots fans were crying in the streets that he couldn't throw it more than 10 yards down the field. Of course, quite the difference when you had the greatest quarterback of all time with you for the last 20 years prior. Uh, but I guess he is an insurance blanket. I don't imagine he's going to be the starter, but they're keeping him in there. I, had, I imagine Bill Belichick has, will have some plays drawn up where he can run cam out of the, with the quarterback power plays like that. And that's why they're hanging on to him because he's essentially a running back who can throw occasionally at this point in his career. Um, I imagine the Patriots will look for a quarterback in the draft or look to sign one in the offseason to be the bona fide starter. But Cam provides competition and he provides a different look. So even if you're complaining about his lack of arm strength now and uh, someone who can fold easily under the pressure as he has lost a bit of his mobility, 
He is still a guy who has been an MVP at some point in the season and has seen a lot of what the NFL has to offer uh, and is still a physical specimen. So best of luck to Cam. I don't think he'll be the starter come come time for the Patriots, but uh, at least he's got a job because last year at this time, he was still looking for one. So happy that he's locked it up.